My name is Brett. Uh, I'm working here at uh, Stupid Easy Gallery. It's uh, where we've hosted uh, Asher Cohen's show. Um, we uh, throw First Friday event and hope to promote uh, Philadelphia artists in the community uh, by showcasing their work in a local studio on uh, the First Fridays and giving events. Uh, we are a working studio, so during our normal working days, uh, we have people in here uh, taking photographs, painting. Um, we offer rentals, rentals for studio space. Um, and hopefully we just try to bring people in this community out and showcase their work, such as Ash over here. Um, ran into him a couple weeks ago, and uh, it was an absolutely fantastic experience. Uh, he was able to show me all of his paintings, and we were able to get together and really throw together a good show. Uh, 66 paintings in, uh, in one go. It was uh, a lot of work, and we got it done. Um, uh, Stupid Easy Gallery is our gallery. Uh, we've been open here for four years. And first Friday events is um, primarily how we try to get people to come out. Um, the artist work is showcased for the following month, and uh, hopefully we get a good turnover on people and people coming out. How quickly we go from the star of the show to just another Joe With the switch of the look, I've known crooks, I'm shook They broke me down, it happened, I broke down, it happened Broken spirit, broken character All the things I tried to be and why and for what reason All the things I've wanted to be and why and for what reason All the things we've all pretended to be and for what Attention please, unrealistic, unattainable standards Shallow, self-destructive, insecure lifestyles I'd prefer not promote Laying in my bed you have not the right to know who I am It seems that I left you with the things that are dead If I cross over from both sides I will have not a friend in the world Start again, think again, start over I'll be whatever you want me to be Rename me, I'm your whore I've seen too much tragic flaw Prisoner of one's own history is public domain Remembered, retold, and whispered down the lane The shame, you're in the game now You're in the game, you can get bitches VIP, in crowd, it crowd on the list, who's who, living out fantasies, confused with reality and consensus and funded and closed off as to be desired business models that play off of teen angst and self-esteem and the competing conflicting desires of the scene, scene, scene. I'm on that mainstream of conscious flow Swimming through chemical compounds, H2O Liquid, I'm livid, I should be committed I'm crazy, maybe I'm indecisive, self-righteous I might just break it all down Down to its lowest common denominator Till nothing more needs to be said I'm dead serious, delirious With blurred vision, a hip-hop head on collision A statistician fishing for compliments A conglomerate putting it all together A playground grounded in play With blue swings that change with the weather And better forward exploring a nympho For the info of salient foreign social objects Don't box me in boxes I rhyme to the rhythm of the clock ticks blast off like rockets While some of you guys still noxious I'm making progress with the prospects of my projects I've got options that I'm picking, I dig in Within this win-win situation Situated in my state of nature In which to state your wordless purpose Does it a disservice, maiming it worthless None of this is on purpose <sighs> Motivated by unconscious urges Surges of adrenaline I'm like pesky kids meddling Everyone wears the mask But how long will it last? Not so fast where are you going? Where are we going with this? Bear witness, and this is even bigger than any camera or spoken word or business. Hey, what's up? Uh, that's Devin uh, Cohen Asher, uh, Alien Architects. So Cohen Asher is uh, friends with Alien Architect. They're two different people, and. Uh, one does art and one does music, and music sort of in a theater kind of way. So the, probably the painter guy is closer to who I actually am, but whenever it's a public uh, trying to be more social than just you being completely by yourself in a room, just imagining your fantasies and dreams, uh, it, maybe you step away from something that's most immediate and blah, blah, blah. But, um, so I'm pretty excited because there's a lot of work put up, and I think the type of stuff that's being put up, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me being, you know, well, just words, but, um, so anyway, I'm excited, it's cool, it's like abstract kind of stuff, and usually what I do is I just try to let go when I'm by myself and just paint if I wasn't trying to impress anybody or trying to... Uh, force an idea or try to like come up with an idea. I just try to relax and see what comes out.
or something like that. And then maybe after I think about it afterwards, maybe there's intellectualized ideas that I come up with. But it's hopefully just kind of like playful. Sometimes in the songs, the lyrics are kind of heavy. And so it's nice to paint. There's no words, I think, in it mostly. And so it's kind of just being creative without... Songs, songs are often about... There's blockades in life that block you from just being creative and completely free. So the songs are oftentimes about dealing with that. And then I imagine once you get past all that, what would happen is you just paint pictures probably. So I'd like to make the music more like the pictures. And whenever I add words, I feel like it's not quite that. So I like when the words are a little more abstract. I like a lot of music that's in other languages that I don't understand for that reason, probably partially. And so sound is really nice. And just physical sight, seeing things is gorgeous. So, oops. And uh, yeah. Um, I went to the Lick Art Store and I bought this and I carried it, this big heavy thing. It was windy. It was like, oh, no. And uh, so I might use my cat to, to bite on the side here, a tiny bit. And then I just painted it. I used house paint, acrylic paint, marker. Um, there's upside down secret people here. <laughs> and like the people become a hand to a degree. Yeah, this guy's playing around. I almost think these are have personalities and this guy hangs out over here, this guy right here. But this guy's over here. This guy's like, ah, they all have different kinds of energies. And so there's something about uh, minimalism and like a limited amount of information and what the mind does with a certain amount of information provided. So I went to school for uh, psychology instead of going to art school for college. And I did like a lot of philosophy, I did a lot of race, gender, sex kind of studies, uh, sexuality studies, and identity kind of things. I interrelated it with sociology and then somewhat I'm doing, my pictures are influenced a little bit by like adult psychology. Like there's a figure ground reversal where you assign a foreground and a background. So there's things you can play with that that sort of mess with the mind where your mind can't make up what foreground or background is or if you decide one thing's the background then therefore everything else is going to fall to a certain foreground position and uh, also like we there's a principle of similarity like these are the same color but the shapes kind of change and so sometimes you can feel movements sometimes you can feel groupings of like these are the same and that's what we do with people I guess as well is make them same or different based on how we see it maybe uh, this, I don't know, it goes back and forth, people have been debating this for a long time, all this kind of stuff. So, I'm only a mere dot dot dot, so. Uh, so this picture here, Cham, Cham, there's another picture that has these two characters a little bit. Uh, over on the other wall. Oh sure, over on the other wall, yeah, so. There's some themes that go on. A lot of this stuff, I pick a technique. I'm like, what happens if I overlap technique, this pattern, that pattern? Um, and I see what develops from there. And then we edit out the parts that aren't good, but we keep the parts that aren't good. Uh, so then there's this picture. Oh, I did a lot of thick lines, and I wanted to see what would happen if not just coloring, but inside the lines. I did um, some kind of shading stuff where it goes on both sides, and I'm seeing what that ends up meaning, and I think it gradually becomes landscapes, maybe, perhaps. And so, a lot of these pictures, I'm kind of grabbing techniques, and there might be a narrative in the future where you're going to see, like, oh, I recognize that from this picture, I recognize that from this picture, and there might be some kind of meaning or non-meaning to why I do that. Uh, this picture, one that's sold, that used to be here, where this one is, and this one, were the three I did before I started like quote unquote painting again. I played a lot of shows and then some things happened and then I just had to retreat and paint for a while. Uh, but now I'm starting to play again, partially because of the art thing. So they're helping each other out. Um, this picture, someone said to me, <laughs> you can't, like, this picture, it's not good until after you've convinced people that you're an artist and that you're good, then you're allowed to do something like that. Um, and then my other friend who's very critical of things and he likes obscure things picked that one picture and, and it meant a lot to me when he said that he thought it was, he was like, I think it's good. And uh, it meant a lot. This guy, I know, he's someone I know and I've just met people that are just covered in just, it's, I don't know how to explain it, it's just very down and it's a lot of people. Um, this one, 
I used oil paint on it, and I think it doesn't look like what you'd think you do with oil paint, maybe, but you could do anything with anything. But uh, put it on cardboard, put it on my roof to dry, because oil paint has a certain kind of smell, for one. And then the wind threw it, and it fell in a puddle. I left it in the puddle and solidified. Got this kind of look, messed it up. And I like the fact that it could be thrown in that way, kind of has a lot of action in there. And it's coming out from the wall. So here, my friend came, he's a contractor, and he brought by supplies. I was so down, he was there for me. And we started just kind of dripping, just being like so crazy, just completely into it. Not like trying to perform, come across as into it, but just actually be into it. And so that's what happened then. Also, I was dating a girl who happened to be from Bangladesh, and I think I was checking out all the Bangladesh kind of colors, Bangladesh art. And so I think there's some of that aesthetic somewhat in it probably by accident. But she, she liked it a lot. She wanted me to give it to her, but I didn't give it to her. And now we don't go out anymore, so it's probably good. I still have it. Um, oh, this one. Mm. Oh, I dropped paint on my tarp. I dropped them down. I went surfing on the board. So this one's straight up surfing, but I cut the portions that I thought worked. This one, I cut up pieces of surfing paper placed it on, glazed it up. I discovered a method where I dropped the paint, create these kind of cloudish kinds of things. Some of the paint was old and I didn't mix it, so the colors kind of did this sort of thing, went in, created, I see it as a landscape place. So uh, these kind of connect in a way if you want them to. Sky, there was another one uh, that was purchased that's no longer with its friends, its three friends. Um, surfing, some of the surfing has red in it. What happens if I place red, even though there's red already there? And what happens if I drip the red and so there's, and drip it with different amounts of water and different amounts of what pattern and so on. So, uh, this I don't know, chemistry. I had a friend who did chemistry and he died. So, we used to make fun of Limp Bizkit together. And uh, so that's a memory of that. <coughs> Um, here, drop some paint, scraped, a lot of scraping, a lot of time, a little bit of spray paint with a piece of cloth that had holes in it, some marker, things like that, it's really light, the person, another girl, I was dating different, I'm not like a big dater, but I happen to be, so she liked stuff that was really light, if I made something heavy, she would be like, why would someone want to hang that in their home, or like, why does someone want, that heaviness in their house, how is that useful? And so I think I was trying to be just like very light, like just force myself to be really light. This one was uh, covering a window, painted on it. People see blood and stuff. Apparently I keep hearing that red means blood, which isn't what I mean, but uh, that's cool. Uh, let's keep going. Red. Let it dry to a certain degree, but then when you start to gloss it, the paint kind of stretches out a bit. There's something about dark lines with very light shading behind it. I'm not sure what it is. I'm something I'm exploring. This is the blue section. A lot of the show we have blue, red, green, bang, bang, switch it. Um, so it's kind of like water, I think like Monet or something, but it doesn't look anything like Monet, but that's somewhat what I have in mind as far as water and things. But I, I oftentimes feel weird talking about it because I love to hear what people see in it that I wouldn't necessarily see. I have a friend, I know someone named Lawrence, he's like, that's Lawrence's universe, um, this one right here. So, close up you're like, oh, it's just a splatter, but somehow back a little bit. Kind of a universe. Um, this one, I went on Craigslist and I met a guy who had paint at a very, very cheap place. And he was teaching me about the fluorescentness of it. And so, this one, depending on the light, it switches the blue. And so I was just playing with that. I like how the red pops through and there's, you know, kind of been playing with lines and perspective or not perspective or what we do with the patterns. So. And this one, I just wanted to not use very much. I wanted to only use white, which was the background color and blue, and just like have to make something that I like. And so I like it. I like that, uh, you know what I mean? So, okay, here we go. This one goes in right here.
Yeah, so. yeah. Someone said, that's so beautiful, and it made me feel good. She's like a performer in the area, and so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she liked that. Sometimes there's a shininess in this blue here. I think that's the thing that probably does it. This one has lots of detail. There's just, you could back up your picture, back up your picture, back up your picture. I think I'm into mazes. Since I was a kid, I'd look at mazes a lot. And I guess probably quote unquote street art and so on, different kinds of art. And for a little bit, I was working with people that wanted me to be like a rapper, and that was supposed to mean a certain thing. And they're like, you can't, you shouldn't paint, you have to choose one or the other. So I'm trying to mix uh, worlds that aren't supposed to go together, maybe that are not documented by sociology or statistical means, but hopefully it's just because it happens to be my reality, not because I'm trying to force that statement. So it's a matter of trying to get it such that you're allowed to be yourself, and allowed to pursue what you want, and uh, be yourself amidst it, while also being pragmatic and uh, approaching and appropriating your situation uh, appropriately. So this one is, uh, has tiles inside of it. And this used to be a poster thing at a video store. I filled it in, I dropped paint on the paint went under the tile and holds it, and also colored it, and then I pretty much just outlined, and then I just kept just saying, what do I see, and what do I see in this abstract thing, but like other people, I can't assume other people are gonna see it, I have to, if I see a line there, I need to put that line. And then I went inside of the line, and it's just kind of about just mic microcosm, macrocosm, Kind of thing. I would lay on my floor and just kind of stare at this and I find it fun with the texture. I see jellyfish and sharks and things, but it's really whatever you see in it. Um, yep, yeah. and just about being in feeling it. Uh, I did like, I was at the plastic club the other day and I was drawing a nude model. That was cool. And it was cool too because we listened to like Chopin or something like that and then afterwards we listened to my like street. <laughs> So was, she was like, oh, it's street. And I, was, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. But, uh, so, and this piece, it was cool. Like, we listened to my music and everybody was drawing, so it was fun. Uh, they had this stand here. I'm happy that this stand happened to be here. I think it goes well. This piece, the idea, there was a photo of it and Brett at this spot with two T's. My brother's named Brett has one T. The guy here has two T's and he's awesome. And, uh, so when he saw the picture of it, he thought it was huge, but it's hanging out it's smaller. So now the idea and the the want, <laughs> I feel like, of a, of a big version is out there. And so that's always the first thing. So I might make a huge one of it at some point, or I'll just move on to the new idea, the next thing. I like these frames a lot. So I'm just happy to find them in the, in the trash. Um, um, People see vaginas in that. That's not really what I was going for. So I, I like over, <laughs> over extend myself on Facebook and on the internet. I just like <laughs> hit up everybody. Like, Check out the thing. Or, I like what you're doing. I love what you're doing. And so uh, I think it helps to be just gung ho. Just love everybody. Love everybody. But have it be true, not just to use people. Just fuck with that. So, um, and people say when this old man said he thought this was beautiful. Made me feel good. No! Uh, this is a different technique. I haven't done it since that. Hopefully, I can do it again. Probably, we'll approach it again. I kind of did some peeling. Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, so, um, there's this man on the internet because I'm a nerd, and he said to me, "He's a little older. He really wants to buy this painting here. Uh, that one." But he, he's like, I have 150, I can talk to my family members to get some more. Um, I'm not going to say his name, but like, uh, and he's having these health problems, and so he really needs the money for his health problems, but he really wants it. And he said to me that he felt it was carrying on a tradition of like this artist and that artist, but it's the new next thing, and that he's all about it, and it was really, it was kind of encouraging. But I really want to get him the painting, just because I feel like he appreciates it, and it would mean something to him. Um, but he doesn't want the original because he feels like it's worth more than, and he would feel bad. So he wants me to find out about lithography. 
so I can get him a lithograph version of it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I think I can probably get him a good deal and get it to him. So I'll, I'll feel happy if that happens. This is kind of like playing with the idea of a name, a name, uh, whatever, a name plate name, perhaps. But uh, I don't know, I see like one of those sky sun sort of things. So yeah, so he was into these kind of line style and this kind of style. So. Hey, come on, come on. There's this one too. <laughs> It's like pink. There's a certain amount of people where it's pink is uh, pop, somewhat popular right now, but I also like it. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Something that's all one flat color. I'm, I'm not sure what to say about it exactly, but there's something about and then dripping it. I do a lot of stuff where it's on the floor. Like my niece was saying, I do my art on the floor and my back and my neck hurt. And then it was like Uncle D. I'm Uncle D. So my name's Devin. So. Oh, Uncle D does the same thing. His neck and back hurt all the time, too. So that's an example of that. That is kind of spilling stuff. Sometimes I'm using cardboard or I'm using wood or something, and I don't want to like show off like I'm using cardboard. I'm using wood. I want to just kind of use that medium to make something that looks like what I'm trying to make it look like. But sometimes I'm not trying to make it look like something beforehand. I'm figuring out what it looks like. So it's more about quote unquote process than products like ahead of time, thinking ahead. I kind of think, I read like new agey books sometimes and psychology stuff and I, so I play with the consciousness kind of, kind of thing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. Some people say it's a board game. Some people say it's a map. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's different locations in it. I mean, I see that. And uh, this one I was really frustrated. I thought, like, I, it's not going to be good. And it turned out to be pretty good. I was on the street being a street, like, hungry artist. And so people were like, oh, this should be in a museum. This should be. I, I'm not sure why I keep mentioning it, but people's affirm affirmations. But uh, I guess it helps because sometimes I feel like you have no choice but to be the thing that you are and you have to engage the world in such a way where the world will let you be that because there's no other option for you unless you want to, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's almost like a, like a disease, so like please donate <laughs> to help me exist at all. Uh, there's one guy and he was like, give me that purple. And he's like a guy who has some gallery and he's doing things and so that made me feel like I'm allowed to do things. Uh, this I guess it's kind of like a window. I think it might have been sideways initially. I just took the frame, colored in it. I was into, I've maybe seen some parties where people use glow in the dark paint, like black lights and so. I've been trying to just like have fun and just integrate with the world and not be Mr. Anti. <laughs> Quite as often, I was homeschooled, and everything's like anti, anti, like feminism, like da da da. This is wrong. That's wrong. Alternative education. Don't be this and that. And, uh, but I mean, we weren't that crazy. We were we were pretty relaxed and nice, cordial neighbors. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm just trying to be agreeable in a good in a good way, not in a bad way. Uh, I probably was looking at Basquiat. Hopefully, I didn't. <laughs> steal from him too much in doing this kind of thing. Uh, so this is kind of like cement or I don't know I want to do stuff where it's not like uh, you see a house you know, I want to draw a house and I want the house to look literally like that house I want to make something that's like I've never, I've never seen that and I don't want it to be like a portal or like I just want it to be like I don't know what what that is I want to just draw and so I, have, I probably haven't done it yeah, I mean, you still see lines, you still see points, you still see um, a space that's filled with things. But I'm just kind of ex sort of exploring what things look like. Just like, what does it look like? Like, you could be like, oh, like, that's not the way you do it, but what does it just look like? And so, sometimes I do that. I super isolate my sensory perception, sensory deprivation, and just like stare at this one thing. Uh, but, yeah, it's not stringent or forceful, it's just kind of a way. This one, there's a restaurant that moved next to me where the 
corner store as a kid. I'd get my milk there, I'd get my Bazooka Joe gum and chew it, and read the jokes. It's gone, there's a restaurant. The, the restaurant's closing, they're getting rid of their soundproofing ceiling. They had like eight of them. I should have taken all eight, but I just got the one and I painted on it. So, covered in white, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's something to say about the shapes and where they are and the types of techniques. I'm using like um, cardboard and nothing like hitting it, and I'm just trying like different types of strokes. What if I don't, you know, it's not filled in completely here. Sometimes it's. And then I use a little bit of this blue paint, which is, was on the one over there, which I was talking about, had that, uh, the light affects it. So, depending on how much light is on it, it changes it.